A recession is generally defined as when an economy shrinks for two to three month periods or quarters in a row. The Eurozone has been hit by rising food and energy prices that have weighed on households. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. The Eurozone, which consists of 20 members of the European Union that have adopted the Euro as their primary currency, has fallen into recession. The recession is likely to have a number of negative consequences for the Eurozone economy. It will lead to job losses, lower incomes and a decline in economic activity. It has witnessed contracting by 0.3% in the first quarter of 2023. The 20 nation economy shrank by 0.1% between January and March. It is adding to a fourth quarter decline of the same magnitude and resulting in the first six month contraction since the COVID 19 pandemic. The recession was driven by a number of factors, including the war in Ukraine, which has disrupted trade and led to higher energy prices. The war has also caused uncertainty and dampened business confidence. In addition, the European Central Bank has been slow to raise interest rates, which has made it more expensive for businesses to borrow money and invest. Last month, Germany said it had fallen into recession at the start of the year after its economy contracted by 0.3% between January and March. The bad news comes after a tough year for European economies as surging energy prices sparked by Russia's war on Ukraine have driven up the cost of living. The data follow German numbers, revealing that Europe's biggest economy also endured a winter recession, as did Greece and Ireland, while Estonia hasn't grown since the end of 2021. Another three Euro-area countries, Lithuania, Malta and the Netherlands, also contracted in the first quarter. The recession in the Eurozone is a sign of the challenges facing the global economy. The war in Ukraine, rising inflation and supply chain disruptions are all weighing on economic growth. The Eurozone is not the only region that is facing a recession. The United States is also expected to enter a recession in 2023. The recession in the Eurozone is a reminder that the global economy is still fragile. The outcome will come as a blow after politicians and European Central Bank officials said repeatedly that a downturn could be averted even as inflation rocketed to its highest level since the euro was introduced. Let's look into today's headlines. WhatsApp launches new channels feature. Meta has unveiled the all-new WhatsApp channels feature, which is a one-way broadcast tool for admins to send text, photos, videos, stickers and polls. WhatsApp said in its blog that as a channel admin, the phone number and profile photo won't be shown to followers. Likewise, following a channel won't reveal the user's phone number to the admin or other followers. Google to discontinue Google Drive service for Windows 8 and 8.1 versions. Google has announced discontinuation of its Google Drive service for Windows 8 and its improved version Windows 8.1, which have reached the end of life cycle. Microsoft has already shut down all the development of Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 operating systems on January 10th. Google says it's ending support for both versions in August of this year. Government offering free tools to detect and remove malware from phones. The Government of India is offering free botnet detection and removal tool to address the issue of increasing malware attacks and scams on phones in the country. The initiative is part of the government's Cyber Swachhata Kendra under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and is also known as Botnet Cleaning and Malware Analysis Centre. Adobe to bring AI image generation capabilities to Google BART. Adobe has partnered with Google to bring Firefly and Express to BART, the latest experimental conversational AI service. This integration will allow users to describe their vision to BART in their own words to create Firefly-generated images directly in BART. These images can then be further modified using Express to create engaging social media posts, posters, flyers and more. Reliance Geo launches Apple AirTag rival GeoTag. Geo has introduced a new Bluetooth tracking device known as GeoTag in India, which is similar to Apple's AirTag and Samsung's Galaxy Smart Tag. The device can be attached to accessories to help locate them using Bluetooth connectivity with the user's smartphone. Priced at Rs 749, GeoTag is one of the most affordable tracking tags available in India. 
That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.